Hi there, I'm Trish from trishnewbury.com PDF Sewing Patterns and thanks for joining me today. So on the sew today is a two cup reusable coffee cup holder. So I'm really excited about this. So this came about because yet again I'd gone and got takeaway coffees and I had one of these wonderful recycle containers to add to the many recycled containers I have. And then when um, they ran out of those, I got one of these and it's a recyclable, um, biodegradable, compostable plastic bag because we're plastic bag free in New Zealand. But I thought there's got to be um, a better way than this. I mean, I buy coffees all the time. Um, I wanted something that was a bit sturdier. So I came up with this pattern. What we're doing today is you're going to need something really firm uh, to sew this in. I'm sewing in it's a polyester canvas, so it's like an outdoor canvas. You can see it's quite firm. If you wanted to use something like a craft cotton or a duck, that would be fine too. Just make sure you um, sew some fuse, uh, sorry, you press heat bond some fuse to the back of it, or you could even get some of that fusible fleece if you wanted it to be a little bit um, firmer as well. So there's, there's no need to worry about a heat transfer because we have got handles for this, but let's just get stuck in. You'll be surprised how quickly this comes together and how good it looks. Today I'm going to sew this just with a plain stitch. You won't need your serger. Um, there is a place you could, your choice. I'm going to show you how we can do it without a serger. Just a plain stitch on your machine. So make sure you test stitch before you begin and make sure your tensions are balanced and as always pop a new um, needle in your machine and make sure your needle matches your fabric so um, if you are going for a heavier fabric make sure you just choose a heavier needle to suit. Right so let's get started on the straps. So let's get started with the straps. You'll have four pieces of straps we're going to sew them two together so place them right sides together and the seam allowance for the straps is one centimeter, three eighths of an inch. So we're going to sew down this side and then down this side. Now we're going to turn those straps through so they're wrong sides together. For this I'm going to use my turning tool. So when you've got that turned through, what we're going to do is sew a top stitch around about quarter inch, six mil from either side. So you might find it easier to press this first, but when you press, make sure those seams are pushed all the way out to the edge. And try and keep your stitching as straight as possible. And don't forget to repeat that for the other strap. Oh, so then go to your iron and give those a press and we can move on. Now we're working on our insert piece and that's the rectangle that has notches here at each end. So what we're going to do is fold this in half so the notches match and we're going to bag this out. So what that means is we're going to sew from the fold here up to the first notch. We're going to leave a gap and then sew the other side and we want to sew that at one centimeter three eighths of an inch. Thank you. 
So now you want to trim the corners. Some people call that mitering the corners. I just want to clip them through. It just helps with turning. You could do a really precise corner turn if you want. And then we need to get in there and turn it so it is wrong sides together, which is right sides out. Right, so I'm now going to close the seam up. So you can sort of see how it's kept that one centimetre, three eighths of an inch hem, seam allowance I should say. So tuck that to the inside and then we're just going to sew an edge stitch to shut that opening. So you want to sew this really close to the edge, maybe um, an eighth of an inch two or three millimeters. Don't forget to back tack it and now go to your iron and give that a really good press and make sure that those seams are pushed out to the edges. Now we're going to work on the sides of the bag and the front and the back. So the front and the back are the two bigger rectangles and the sides are the two smaller rectangles. Now in addition to this, the top is the edge that's closest to the notch. So you'll have notches here and here on the sides and notches here and here at the front and the back. The other thing you need to make sure you do before we go any further is make sure the notch at the bottom of the piece is marked in and make sure the drill hole at the top of the piece is marked in. And if you want to, what you can do is just draw a line between it. Go to your iron and press under the top edge by 6mm, quarter of an inch, on both the front and back and the two side pieces. Take one of the larger pieces, it's going to be your front, and then take one of the side pieces, it's going to be your side, and place them right sides together. So we are going to sew these together in a 6mm, quarter of an inch seam. Remember to back tack. Now the marks I showed you for placement, I put them on the wrong side, they're supposed to be marked on the inside, but that line shows us the stitching line. So, what that means is take your insert piece and making sure this clothesline is at the bottom, we want to match it towards the line here. So this is the line we want to stitch on. So what that means is the drill hole is marked at one centimeter. So we want the top of it to start one centimeter, three eighths of an inch past this line. And we also want it to overlap that line by one centimeter, three eighths of an inch. So just to show you what we're doing, if I hold that in place there, what you'll see is that mark there is approximately 3 8 of an inch in and down from that corner there. We want to overlap the line so when we stitch on that line, we will be stitching exactly on the line. So you'll see at the bottom there's a, um, a notch, so you want to make sure that notch matches up with 1 cm 3 8 of an inch as well. So when you've got that in the correct place, we're going to sew this down at one centimeter, three eighths of an inch. So when you're ready, stitch that into place with a one centimeter, three eighths of an inch seam allowance. See our stitch line is lining up with our notch here. And remember to back tack at both the beginning and the end. Okay, so just trim that off. At the front, it should be exactly on the line I chalked in earlier. Right, so go to your iron and we're going to press a second hem in. So at the top here you have notches, here and here, just to show you the turn position. So go to your iron and just memory press that in 
It will just help us out later. So while you're on the job, it's a good idea to memory press that second hem on the remaining short piece and the remaining bigger piece, so the remaining back and side. Now we're going to attach another side. So we've got short, long, short. So match those pieces there. And we're going to sew a seam at six mil, quarter of an inch. Open that up. And now we're going to sew the other longer, bigger piece to that. Six mil, quarter of an inch. Right, so what we've got is um, we've got a side, a front, a side, and a back. Okay, so now what we need to do is come to the area here with the stitch line, and we're going to bring this piece over like so. So just like we did before, estimate a position, one in, one down, three-eighths of an inch, in and down from the corner and match that to the drill hole underneath. And then the stitch line is one centimetre, three-eighths of an inch in, so we want to overlap that line. And lastly, place the remaining sides right sides together, and sew that seam at six mil, quarter of an inch. So at the moment we have this really weird shape and it's inside out. So make sure, now we're working on the raw edge, not the edge that's folded. So this is absolutely right, this sort of weirdness. What we're going to do is sew the bottom. So come to one of the short ends here and match it right sides together to the short end piece here. And um, you might want to pin or clip that into place. So the seam allowance we're going to sew is six mil, quarter of an inch as well. And you might find it easier now just to find the other side with the short edge here. It's sort of really weird. It's because of that insert piece. So pin that together as well. Right. So we're going to sew this together at six mil, quarter of an inch. Now I'm not going to start on the edge because I think it'll just make it too hard on myself. I'm just going to start a couple of inches in from the side. So sew around that. Now we need to pivot at the corners. So that means, so when we get to a corner, so stitch till we get to the seam here and stop six mil, quarter of an inch before the end with your needle down in your work. Lift your presser foot and turn that bottom piece around, match the seam, and keep sewing. It's a bit awkward as you can tell. Now there's, um, I, I need to mention we're going to be French seaming these, so that's the reason we've got quarter of an inch, it's for reinforcement. Okay, so halfway across, there'll be a notch to match. And that's the same notch, or one of them anyway, that we match to this insert piece. So just don't catch that insert piece as you sew. You're going to go, ah, oh, in a minute, and it'll all make sense. Stop six mil, quarter of an inch in from that edge, and we're up to our other side pins. I'll just take them out because I find it easier. So stop with your needle down, lift, turn, and pivot. Turn that piece around and keep stitching. Next corner, lift, turn, and pivot. Don't worry, this is the worst part of the sew. Match the next notch. Lift, turn and 
pivot and catch up with your original stitches and back tack. And now we're going to turn this through so it is wrong sides inside. Push out your corners. And you'll be able to see that our little coffee tote is starting to take shape. Yeah. Alright, so now we're going to be doing the French seaming. So we're going to start by French seaming the bottom of our bag. So we're going to French seam at 6mm quarter of an inch and for each of the four sides we need to stop that distance, start and stop from each seam that distance. So to French seam, all we're going to do is basically cover up all our stitching and it also adds reinforcing. So start on one of the long sides and push that seam all the way out to the edge. And then start stitching 6mm quarter of an inch in from the edge and stop the same distance at the other side and repeat that around the four sides. Now we're going to sew the strap in at the same time as we do this top hem. So what you're going to do is take a strap and come to one of the long edges. Tuck the strap under by about a centimetre. You can push it all the way up to the fold if you want, doesn't really matter. Whatever you feel comfortable with. And we want to position it about a centimetre, three eighths of an inch, in from that hem, sorry, in from that seam there. So now we're just going to edge stitch. I'll push my I'll push mine all the way up to the top just for extra reinforcing. So we're going to edge stitch that strap into place. So I'm working on the long edge. And now bring that strap around. And when we get to the other side of the long edge, we're going to mirror that position. So remember we pressed under that 6mm, make sure that's pressed under. Tuck that strap all the way to the fold, or just under a centimetre, three-eighths of an inch if you want. And we want it around about a centimetre, three-eighths of an inch in from the seam. You'll see why in a minute, and continue stitching. Okay, so that's one long side done. Make sure you don't twist that strap. Making sure that six mil tuck under is still tucked under. Keep stitching one of the short ends. Across to the next seam. Take another strap and do the same thing down the next long edge. Push it all the way up. Position it so there's a one centimetre, three eighths of an inch gap. And stitch it down bring the other end of that strap around So we've got our straps into place on each side. Now we're going to do some more French seaming. So when I was doing these test um, patterns, I ummed and ahed whether to do the top seam and stitch that strap into place 
with the, to do the French seam first and I've worked out it's best to do the French seam first. The trick is to just make sure the straps out of the way. So we're going to do the remaining four corners French seam. So push that out to the edge like we did before and stitch down right from the top at a quarter of an inch six mil seam allowance and just make sure the strap is well out of the way and do that for all four corners remembering to stop six mil from the bottom quarter of an inch so that should join up just nicely with our bottom French seaming and do that for the next three Our last step is to sew our handles into place. So to do this we want to pull them back up like this and then stitch down along the top. So what I'm going to do is do it from the right side. You just want to make sure that you're not stitching through anything else. You can do it from the wrong side if you find it easier. So we want that handle to be pretty much pushed up against that um, French seam there. So can you see that, how that's all pulled up like that? So that's what we want. We're going to be edge stitching it from the top again. Now, these French seams at the side, I'm going to make all of them face towards the side. So that one faces me, and this one faces away from me. So if you feel you need to, what you can do is do some reinforcing across the bottom of those straps. I really don't think there's any need to, but some people would, might like to do a nice little X shape there. And go ahead and do some quality control work. So um, tidy up any of your stray threads and you're finished. So thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoy this. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button. And uh, thanks for buying my patents and I hope to see you back again soon.